Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Pharmacypedia. In this video, we are going to discuss about sterilization of the packaging material. The topic has been derived from the subject labeling and packaging of bee farm. So let us begin. So when we talk about the sterilization of the packaging material, the image which erupts in your mind is about the packaging material, different kinds of the packaging material like glasses, rubbers, metals, plastics and different other types of the polymers which are being used for the packaging of different types. So when we talk about the uh, objective of doing the sterilization of these packaging material, the primary purpose is to remove or destroy all the microorganisms in or on a preparation material and also to ensure that in this way the preparation is going to be free of contagious hazards in all the respect. Since we are talking about the sterilization, sterilization is very critical in the case of aseptic products, in the case of parenteral products, ophthalmic products because 100% sterility is desired in these preparations. Sterilization is very critical part of the manufacturing process. So when we talk about the different types of the packaging, in my previous video you must have seen two basic types of the packaging material like primary packaging material uh, which is in direct contact with your uh, medicament. It is important that these containers should not interact with the medicine from damage and from the extra chemical and microbial contamination. Other type of the packaging is like secondary packaging uh, which also has the main purpose of providing and avoiding the contamination and also improve the appearance of the product. That includes outer wrappers on the labels which is not in direct contact with the product. Secondary packaging can also provide information about the product and its use. They should provide evidence of tampering with the medicine. So apart from these primary and secondary packaging comes the role of various ancillary substances which are used further for the packaging. For details of the ancillary substance you can see my video that is specifically de dedicated to all the ancillary substances used in the packaging. So when we talk for the sterilization, there are certain criteria that should be met before going ahead for the process of sterilization. So what is we desired from the sterilization process is that we desired rapid microbicidal activity. The sterilization property, the sterilization process should be compatible with the surface which is being treated, especially the packaging material and the equipment. The process should easily removed from the surface and it should not leave any sort of the residue while doing this microbicidal activity. It should also not, no, not pose any sort of health hazard to the consumer as well as to the person doing it. It should not have any ad adverse effect on the product quality in the case of any unavoidable residues or erroneous high substances. It should uh, present no health hazard to operating personnel around the packaging equipment. It should be 100% compatible with the environment and it should not cause any sort of the corrosiveness to the surface treated. For example, the metal packaging. The method adopted should be reliable and economic. So you can understand when we talk about the sterilization process for the packaging material, sterilization process for the uh, product, the very there are n number of methods. So we have to select the method. We have to select the method on the basis of the requirement of the type of the packaging material, whether we are, what kind of the packaging material we need to sterilize, whether the packaging material is economical, whether the packaging material is causing any sort of hazard to the consumer or it is leaving any sort of the residue on the surface. It can be easily removed or not. It is compatible with your formulation or not. It should pose not any sort of the health hazard for the person doing it. So you have to first understand these questions and then decide the technology to be ad adopted for the sterilizing. So when we talk about the different sorts of the uh, packaging material, for example, the metal containers, the preferred sort of the treatment 
and the preferred form of the sterilization method is the superheated steam which can kill the microorganism the superheated steam is being exposed at very high temperature for a specified period of the time then again for a metal and other composite juice or average beverage containers dry hot air is also one of the sterilization method for plastic containers and laminated foils the method selected is hot hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide is widely used for the sterilization process now hydrogen peroxide along with uv light combination is the best method which is being suggested for the sterilization of the plastic containers so because uh, the fact is that ultraviolet rays increases the effectiveness of the hydrogen peroxide so this method has been worked out best for the sterilization of the plastic components now then another method of the sterilization is the gaseous sterilization also known as the ethylene oxide gas so it is preferred for the packaging containers like glass and other plastic containers which cannot be used where chlorides are present or where residuals would remain and other sort of the preferred uh, treatment desired in the case of plastic containers is the heat from the co extrusion process heat from the co extrusion process since it utilizes no chemicals another method of the sterilization of the heat sensitive plastic containers is the radiation technology so it can be utilized it can be used to sterilize the heat sensitive packaging material uh, but the problem associated with that it is very expensive and the problem is also associated with the location of the radiation source so when we talk about the steam sterilization in the autoclave the process involves heating in an autoclave with the saturated steam under pressure and it is should be used whenever possible for aqueous preparations and surgical material so when we plan for doing and it is being used from the long time the method is quite effective in killing the microorganism but it is preferred for the substances like aqueous preparations and surgical materials then comes the dry heat sterilization dry heat sterilization process is adopted for the heat stable non aqueous products and powder so again it is being exposed at very high temperature and at a controlled pressure for certain specified period of the time to enable killing of the microorganisms but the process is suitable only for the heat stable non aqueous products and powders the third method is the gaseous sterilization this involves the use of the gas like ethylene oxide which is having the acceptable sterilizing quality the process is difficult to control since the gas itself being toxic and when mixed with certain proportions of the air becomes explosive so care should be taken to ensure that the pr process is applied only to the packaging material compatible with the sterilizing gas the packaging material to be sterilized is exposed to ethylene oxide or to a mixture of ethylene oxide with a suitable inert gas after sterilization adequate time should be allowed for for the dispersal of residual ethylene oxide and other volatile residues so the uh, this sort of the uh, sterilization method is used because it it is assumed that the ethylene oxide gas is having the high sterilizing quality but the method has to be controlled and it is not that much efficacious as compared to the hydrogen peroxide method along with the uv combination the another sort of the sterilization technology adopted is the ionizing radiation so the different drug substances dosage forms devices may be achieved by exposing in the final containers to the ionizing radiation so how do we attain the radiation it is in the form of the gamma radiations from a suitable radioactive source such as cobalt 60 or selenium 137 or or of electron energized by suitable electron accelerator so you are getting the gamma radiations from these radioactive substances and these gamma radiations is causing the sterilization of the different drug substances dosage form material or other medical devices in either case the do radiation doses have to be adjusted enough to yield the required degree of the sterility assurance it should be established that within the range of the minimum and maximum doses set the properties of the articles being sterilized are acceptable so you one has to be careful enough to understand and decide the minimum and the maximum dose set for having the adequate level of sterility into the product 
so by exposing you will definitely get the impact but the dose here plays a very critical role since it, you are uh, deriving these as a gamma radiation from the radioactive substances handling of radioactive substances is not easy it has to be done in a proper way so this method is not preferred and widely acceptable in the pharmaceutical industry so uh, it is after doing the thorough research over the various kinds of the methods being used for the sterilization of the packaging material it is being recommended that the hydrogen peroxide sterilization followed by the hot air appears to have the most potential for use in inline sterilant for packaging material the com this combination has been adequately worked out and time tested and no adverse report seems to have any effect Moreover the sterilization of packaging material using hydrogen peroxide along with the ultraviolet radiation also has been accepted for industrial application it is also uh, known that dry heat saturated heat and super heated steam can be an effective sterilant but the degree of heat damages many packaging materials so they have limited applications so it can be easily understood when we adopt these methods like dry heat saturated and superheated steam they may sometimes damage the packaging material so it is being recommended it uh, one has to take the wise decision of using the correct method the best method which has been worked on for industrial application is the sterilization of the packaging material using hydrogen peroxide followed by the ultraviolet radiation it is it has also been found that infrared rays cannot be applied as there is a temperature rise of the packaging material due to infrared application and this sometimes results in the softening of the plastics ionizing rays are not acceptable as they have harmful effect on the personal doing it so when we talk about the radiation like infrared rays it, the method is also not recommended since infrared uh, uh, infrared rays sometimes may cause the softening of the plastics and these rays are also not acceptable since they have harmful effect on the person doing it light pulses have not been adequately studied so far as their effect on the food material is concerned ethylene oxide requires a very long time which precludes its use for inline application parasitic acid produces an off flavor in food if residual deposit is enclosed in the container beta propylolactone lacks the penetrating power of ethylene oxide and ethanol is not effective against spores so ethylene oxide gas method is having good sterilizing capacity but the problem is that it is a very long process and becomes difficult in pharmaceutical industry to be adopted so one can understand for having the good sort of the sterilization of the packaging material best method utilized is the hydrogen peroxide along with the ultraviolet radiation to have the and it is having best industrial applicability thank you so much for watching my video please do like share and subscribe pharmacy pdr also please provide your views in the comment box keep watching stay tuned thank you